Good morning guys, how are you guys doing? It is Tuesday and I think I'm about to go get breakfast with my cousin. Um, we just tend to do this every once in a while, we get the coupons. I don't know if you guys have a huddle house in your area, but I love our huddle house. And we get coupons there like monthly, so we go and get breakfast every once in a while. So today I was off and she's off on Tuesday, so we're gonna go get breakfast in a few and wait for her to um, text me back. Um, and then as far as the rest of the day, I do have a video that's going to be going up today. It's already um, uploaded. I just need to unprivate it and get my description. And I think I have it titled and I have my thumbnail. So I just need to get my tags and my description on there and it'll be up. So by the time you guys see this video, that video will already be up. Um, but I'm just gonna try to bring you guys along with me throughout my day. I don't really have a really eventful life. Um, I really don't want to vlog my entire life. I just want to vlog like me getting my content planned and how I do that. Just the behind the scenes type vlogs. Not just, you know, not everything. Um, Cause my life is not interesting at all. I'm a homebody. And unless you want to just see my son run around, that's, that's all you're going to get out of me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video from um, last week because I enjoy editing it. It didn't share a lot, it was super short, and I'm gonna try to have them not be that long because um, editing is a lot easier. And people wanna watch shorter, well, as of right now, since it's something new I'm introducing to my channel, I'm sure you guys wanna see shorter videos. So let me know if you want them to be a little bit longer and if you enjoyed them. So let's get into the rest of this day. Billy uh, on that's what my cousin probably gonna get. Um, my food is here. I got me a Philly cheesesteak omelet, some toast, hash browns, and your girl, me and Super Greedy. I got me a waffle. And my cousin got some grits and all that yumminess over there. So I'm about to devour my food. And I'll be back. Oh yeah. Y'all, this is what you call fat. Okay. This is what you call fat. Look at that. My cousin helped me eat my food. No, I did not. <laughs> so I was hungry. So this is the aftermath. <sighs> Y'all, I'm stuffed. Look at my food, baby. Oh my god. My food, baby. So cool. So we just been sitting here eating and talking as usual, catching up, you know, spilling the tea. <laughs> what tea? <laughs> Which one of those? <laughs> Which one of those? Oh, God. So, bye, y'all. So I'm back. I'm kind of taking a break from editing. And I just wanted to talk to you guys. I think I, I want it to be a little bit transparent in this video because this is something that's, that I'm really dealing with. And maybe I'm not the only person dealing with this situation. Um, let me sit up. Oh, God. So lately, you guys... Um, this is something that started happening back when I was in college and now it's coming back, but it's coming back more aggressively and more, 
more frequently that's the better word to say than aggressively because it sounds scary but it's, it's not that scary but i have been dealing with extreme anxiety and panic attacks and normally when you hear those sort of things you think like she doesn't like being around people she gets nervous around people i don't like being around a big group of people but that's not i don't have panic attacks around people i tend to have them at night when everyone's asleep and i'm wide awake and it just comes out of nowhere um first time i had one it was like probably back in 2012 and um i probably had a couple all the way at college and when I did have one, I remember my one of my best friends, she stayed in the dorm room next door to me. So I would just knock on the wall and she came to spend the night, stay, you know, stay with me the rest of the night because I was scared. Because if you never had a panic attack, it just feels, it really feels like you're dying. Like your heart is beating fast. You can't breathe. You're hot. You feel like you're about to faint. It really feels like that. And it's scary if you've never had one before or like me recently, I haven't had one in a while and... The beginning of the summer i had one and i i made my mom call the ambulance because i was <laughs> i thought i was about to die um so that was when they start coming back the beginning of the summer when i the whole ambulance situation and i felt dumb once they got here because they were like it sounds like you had a panic attack and so now the summer i started by getting them at the top of the summer and i had a few during the summer but well, it's still summertime technically. But um, I noticed that they pick up a lot more when I am, you know, posting on YouTube when I'm trying to do content because my mind is constantly going and going and going, and I'm always thinking about what I need to do. It's like my mind does not rest. So when it comes to sleeping, that's when they they um the panic attack comes for revenge. And my heart is beating fast. And I try to, I need to really start being consistent with meditating because I hear that that really does help. Um, I need to do that. So I try not, and I think now I get panic attacks because I'm scared of getting a panic attack. So that brings on a panic attack. If you, it sounds crazy if you, if you've never had one, but if you've ever had one, please drop down in the comment section and let me know what you do to deal with your panic attacks. What should I do? Or cause right now it's like, it's controlling my life and I don't get a lot of sleep because of it. I'm always tired and you guys know I'm a mom, so I'm always tired and it just, whew, y'all, it's just too much. So you guys, if you guys deal with anxiety, please drop down in the comment section and let me know how you guys cope with it. Give me some tips on how I can cope with it because you guys, it's, it's too much. <laughs> so I just wanted to pop in and say that little deal because I just thought I would get some advice from you guys if, you know, so I just want to be transparent about what I'm, you know, what I'm really dealing with. And that's something that I'm really dealing with every day.